this is Philip, co-founder and CEO here at Sales Wings. And I want to take a quick moment to explain to you how Sales Wings can help you make sales and marketing alignment a breeze. And of course, the goal of sales and marketing alignment is to drive revenue growth through a smooth and modern collaboration between marketing and sales. And misalignment between those critical teams has many faces. And of course, it doesn't have to come to a fight like here. But in fact, there's a range of negative impact from being misaligned. Marketers see up to 70% of their leads rejected or even worse, ignored. They tell us there's an inability to hand off campaign leads, for example, that is so crucial to having a smooth process. There's arguments with sales managers, and also they feel they cannot prove value of their campaigns to the salespeople. Salespeople, on the other hand, see only 7% of leads qualified as uh, a metric that we uh, have found, and they lose deals because they just miss that moment when they need to engage with the salesperson. They have frustrating conversations with the people working at their accounts, and last but not least, they're missing their targets. At the same time, we know that sales and marketing alignment can lead up to 208% more revenues from marketing efforts than organizations that just don't get it right. Now, here's how SalesWings helps you achieve true alignment, and the start is to having the right data. And SalesWings supports you with a no-code data collection capability for marketing cloud and sales cloud. SalesWings allows you to track lead and account web engagement with a plug and play solution. We have native integration with Tag Manager. We can track in campaign clicks and engagement. And furthermore, we also make it easy to collect data from web forms, whether these are any third party forms, download forms, marketing cloud pages. Uh, we track third party uh, application interactions such as chat or document tracking. And of course, you can send us data over a simple API. What we then do next is we tie this data to leads, contacts, subscribers, and also accounts. So that is just the first step. The next step is to take that data and profile those leads and profile those accounts to truly understand them and really see when they need to be handed off to sales. So firstly, we've tied that activity to the people. And then we offer you a fully automated engagement scoring. Are these leads hot or are they still cold? It's all about engagement and sales wings builds this into its compact platform. Furthermore, we offer best of breed point lead scoring, multiple categories, just like you know it from the leading marketing automation platforms. We bring this natively to the marketing cloud and to sales cloud. Furthermore, SalesWings offers lead, contact, account, and in fact, even opportunity grading. And SalesWings has access to any Salesforce sales cloud data, whether standard or custom object data or fields. But understanding how sales ready they are is just one part of the equation. SalesWings also identifies needs. And here's where these tags come in. Now consider here this a uh, friendly lady uh, on our own website, on the SalesWings website. So SalesWings could identify interest in the marketing cloud integration, in our sales cloud integration, maybe uh, topics that she's reading about in our blog or uh, specific industries that she's reading about. And SalesWings can really profile all these leads in a fully automated way and in a simple manner so that any marketing and salesperson gets it right. And we'll see just in a minute how that works, but having that data is so critical to being able to use it and align between marketing and sales, leveraging the marketing cloud and the sales cloud. So once we've collected that data, we've qualified these leads, SalesWings then offers plug and play connectors to the marketing cloud. And all the data is real time uh, available in a data extension and therefore also to Interaction Studio and to uh, CDP and all these other great solutions that you can leverage. And of course, we push the data to Sales Cloud. 
So you can use the data, all the lead scores on the account level, on the lead level for any lists and reports that you're actually using already today, making sales wings a minimal invasive approach to enhancing your workflows. And last but not least, we offer an API if you want to get this data into any third party solution. And last but not least, we offer some great, uh, let's call it nice to have, such as a Slack integration or email push. So let's quickly take a look how this looks. So imagine Susanna Summer uh, comes to our website and as often the search starts on Google. Susanna's on our website, she's taking a quick tour, uh, looking around, uh, identifies some of those business goals that she's reading about, and she ends up requesting a white paper on our, um, on our website. Now, let's quickly have a look how this data comes in. So here I'm in the sales cloud. So in sales cloud with our native uh, integration, uh, we push data to leads, we push it to contacts, to accounts and to opportunities. And here we can see this rich profile that Saleswings has collected. The tags identify product interests as we've seen, topics uh, that are key for us to understand how to personalize our engagement. And of course, we've been able to identify where the true interest is with lead scoring and how sales ready Susanna really is. So once more, this data is not only available in the sales cloud, but it's available in the marketing cloud as well. And that's often where that, that relationship starts between the leads and, uh, and your organization. So let's quickly have a look how this goes. Here we have a journey, uh, journey builder, of course, a fantastic tool to create great buyer experiences. And here we have a data extension where uh, this lead is falling in, uh, Susanna has requested a white paper uh, right there. So of course, then we will send out this uh, white paper in the first step. And what we wanna do next is take a decision because we want to understand how we can best align with sales. Should this lead already go to sales or do we wanna continue to, continue to nurture uh, this person? So alignment can happen right within Journey Builder. And what am I gonna do here is I'm gonna go check in our um, native marketing cloud data extension. I'm gonna look for this uh, lead score. So let's say we take uh, the predictive score, uh, sorry, the point scoring. So here we can say, well, if the lead score is already above 40 and we also want this lead to be already hot hot meaning there's strong engagement, frequent interactions, uh, and there is currently obviously some evaluation going on. So now we can decide, well, if Susanna, this particular lead is sales ready, well, we want to then instantly hand over that lead to, uh, to the sales team. We can create that lead in, in the sales cloud, uh, or we can assign the existing lead. Uh, we could even create a follow-up task, um, making this really easy and uh, facilitate this process at scale. And if not, of course, we can continue to nurture them with all the great tools from the marketing cloud. Another great trick that we've seen our clients use is they create what they call a sales alert journey. So what you do in this situation is you're gonna put that lead, uh, as soon as the lead is sales ready, you're going to put them into a journey as well as the assigned sales rep from the CRM. So here we're leveraging a native integration with the sales cloud. But again, uh, as long as you have this sales assignee information in the sales in the marketing cloud, uh, there's really no problem to do this. And we're going to then send a sales alert. So here I'm going to look for uh, an email. I've already created this sales alert email, as you will see right now. Here's the sales alert. And of course, uh, my design skills are not great, so you can make this look beautiful and you can make this uh, tailor to, uh, to your corporate identity. Uh, and you're able with Saleswings to send useful information to the salesperson right there and trigger a timely interaction. So here you have a hot lead. 
and um, you can see here that we have a button access uh, access lead now and uh, within the data extension you will also find what we call the lead link and the lead link is an encrypted link uh, that you can send uh, to your salespeople about that specific lead or that specific contact and again the sales rep will then be able to click in this email and get all these sales insights straight to their inbox. So this is a really great tactical way to create alignment between marketing and sales. Now moving slowly over to the sales cloud in this situation, because our data is fully native to the sales cloud, we could use flows or we could use process builder uh, in very diverse ways. Here we have a simple uh, process where a lead is edited and we're going to be checking that scoring threshold. So here we have access to all those sales wing scores, uh, whether it's the fit grade uh, or any other uh, score that we've set up. And we can say, well, as soon as we've qualified this lead because we're uh, ongoingly nurturing them, we can then assign that lead to a rep at that moment. Or uh, we could you know, trigger a sales alert email straight from the sales cloud, uh, maybe looking something like this, uh, where the salesperson can immediately focus on a lead where there is an opportunity for him to have a great conversation. As I've said before, Saleswings data is available on all the key objects for sales, leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities. No matter where you work, we often see clients they use simple lists like this. They're hard to prioritize. Uh, they use reports that salespeople are, you know, finding trouble to uh, identify those um, those best leads. And look at how this looks with Salesforce data. We have the last time of engagement. You can put the most recently active contacts right at the top of a list. Or here you can see our predictive score. Look how easy it is to understand which leads need my attention as a salesperson. And of course, we have the point scoring. We can create multiple point scoring categories, or we can do lead grading based on any data we've collected within the sales cloud. And again, if now Susanna is prioritized by a salesperson, we can create further alignment by handing off all this useful information to the salesperson. What products is this lead interested in? Which campaigns have they clicked on? This is a great way for marketing to prove value to sales, to show which campaigns they have uh, engaged with, topics, important buying signals. These are all great ways for marketing to enable salespeople to have better conversations and ultimately uh, collaborate to drive revenue growth. Now, today we see a lot of companies have an account-based approach. So, of course, Sales Wings will also push all the information over to accounts. So, if I have a set of accounts that I'm engaging with, I can quickly identify when one of these accounts is hot that needs, uh, needs my attention. And furthermore, uh, also on all the accounts, we will have all these tags. We'll be able to understand what the interest is, uh, if there's multiple contacts, we can rank them to, in fact, provide the salespeople with an understanding what the account is currently looking at on our website. Another fantastic way, and this is often useful in a campaign mode, marketing's running campaigns, product launches, new services, maybe a promotion, uh, we can hand off leads right around the campaign. And again, we're doing this with our tags, with these colorful tags, and we can simply get a list of leads, contacts, accounts, or else who have engaged with a specific campaign. So here we see my, my, my spring campaign. Here's a list that's automatically populated with all the leads and all the accounts that have clicked in that spring campaign. And because this is native to the sales cloud, I get access to all the useful Salesforce uh, tools. For instance, uh, here in the Salesforce report, I can simply subscribe to this report as a salesperson. I can say I want a daily uh, update to my inbox eight o'clock in the morning. And this way, 
I can really prioritize the right leads at the right time in an effortless way. Now, how do we set up the scoring? And by the way, you can dig further, uh, you can report on all of that as a marketer or salesperson, but how do we set up these scores? Once more, SalesWings makes this very easy and user-friendly to marketers. There's no need for coding. There's no reliance on technical staff. Uh, and we're simply going to go to the scoring section and we're going to create a new score. And here we see this easy to use interface. Uh, we're going to call this a new score. Let's just leave it like that. Uh, this is our demo score. You could give it a color if you want it. And I can simply say, I'd like to add or remove points when a lead visits a specific web page. So of course, this is the easy one. So we're gonna say, all right, somebody visits pricing. First time, we're gonna get 10 points. And then leveraging the SalesWings data, I can also benefit from my tagging setup. So I can say, for instance, if somebody shows interest in the marketing cloud uh, integration here at SalesWings, we're gonna give another five points. Uh, I can track uh, videos on my website. So I can say, well, anybody uh, showing interest in my video uh, should get, well, let's say 20 points. Uh, and then if they are, in fact, not looking to buy from us, uh, but they're looking to work with sales wings, maybe they shouldn't go to sales, uh, but they should go to recruitment. Uh, so then I can also remove points instantly in this way. This is how SalesWings makes it really easy to identify uh, engagement. And um, yeah, I hope I gave you some good ideas. And coming back to our quick presentation here, uh, keep in mind SalesWings makes it easy to collect the data that you need to create alignment. We provide you with a set of intuitive and user-friendly solutions to leverage that data, to identify interests and sales readiness, and we push the data to all the systems of uh, reference that you are using. That was the overview. Uh, I hope this looks interesting and do schedule a demo with us if you wanna understand how this could look in your particular situation. And if you want us to share uh, what, what use cases we've identified in your industry. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead.